Hey guys, welcome back, it's Crystal. So today I'm gonna to be sharing an Ikea desk hack with you. And I was in need of a new filming desk, so I wanted something affordable and lightweight so that I could move it around the room if I wanted to change angles during filming. So this is the desktop and legs that I went with from Ikea. They have several different options, and I spruced this one up a little bit, and that's what I will be sharing with you guys today in this video. And it's very simple and easy, but I just thought I would share it with you guys. So this is my new filming station right here. I love it. The desk is like the perfect size for filming. I have enough room to put things on my desk, but I also gave it that little girly glamorous touch. So the desk that I initially wanted from Ikea was the Alex, this one right here. And it comes in white and gray, but both of them were completely out of stock when I went to Ikea. And Ikea is not very close to my house, so I did not want to like wait and go back and purchase that one when it came back in stock. So I went with the one that I showed you a picture of. But this particular desk is very affordable. It used to be $179, but they lowered the price to $129, which is a really great deal, which is why I wanted that one. But again, it was out of stock, so... I just went with something else but this is a great option and I think that you could also do the little hack that I'm going to show you with that particular desk if you're interested so the desktop that I went with is this one right here it comes in gr light gray white and I believe in brown as well so this particular one is called the climb pin I'm probably to totally butchering that name but it's $69.99 I believe they had two different sizes and this particular one has like a beveled or I don't even know a lip or a beveled edge I don't know the correct term but that's why I went with this one I thought it gave it a nice little touch there are some depth desktops that are cheaper than this particular one. This one was a little bit more heavy duty as well. The legs that I went with are these here, the Nipin, probably butchering that name as well, but they have several different leg options, but these I thought looked the nicest, but they were the most expensive. They were $20 each, which is a lot. <laughs> so it was $80 for the legs themselves. All right, so these are what the legs look like. I just thought they looked very feminine and very pretty compared to some of the other legs that they had. And again, these were the most expensive, $20 a pop, whereas a lot of the other legs were cheaper. I mean, there's some, there were some, I think, that were around 12 or 15 each, but there are some that are cheaper than that as well. So you could pick any leg and spray paint any leg. That's all I've really done to this table is spray painted the legs to my liking. So my makeup room has a lot of gold in it, so I wanted to spray the legs gold. So I picked out this particular spray paint. I actually owned it already, which is why I used it. It's not the best. I would recommend maybe trying something else. This is Rust-Oleum. It has a metallic finish and I have the shade in gold. I feel like it's very metallic and very reflective and shiny, which I do like about it. But at the same time, even if I let something dry for several days after I've sprayed it, I feel like if I touch that item, it leaves kind of like a dull finish where my fingers were. So I don't think it's the best spray paint I ever used. So I just went with this one because I already owned it. I had used it for something else, but I noticed that when I sprayed the other item as well. So I would just recommend with going with a different brand, maybe like Krylon or something like that. Maybe something that's a primer and spray paint in one. I think that might be better. So I do like the way that it came out and looked, but my recommendation would be maybe to use a different type of spray paint. I started spraying the legs outside in the backyard but unfortunately it was a little bit windy and I ended up moving into the garage but when you spray paint anything you want to make sure you do it in a well ventilated area so you're not inhaling the fumes so I started out here and I used the cardboard that came with the tabletop as my surface area so I did the first leg outside and it comes with a little metal plate that you screw into the table and it screws into the leg itself. So I sprayed those along with the legs. You will see here the before and after. So it looks so much more feminine and pretty once I sprayed it gold versus the gray shade. I just really love the way that it turned out. So I love it. It's just a really easy, simple hack. You could do it to anything in your house. And here are all four legs done. You can see it has a nice metallic reflective finish. Very, very pretty. And I probably did about two layers of the spray paint. It took a little bit since they are rounded. You, like I did miss some areas, so I had to go back over those several times. 
but I let them sit for about, about a day before I actually screwed them into the tabletop. So here's what they look like once I put them on and it just looks really, really pretty. I took the picture over the white rug just so you could really see like the finish of them. And that is it. That is my little hack. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.